the, the gene is immortal. In fact, a publisher once, when I showed him the first couple of chapters of The Selfish Gene, said you shouldn't call it that, you should call it the immortal gene. And perhaps I should have done. Um, genes are immortal in the sense that the coded information they contain is reproduced, is replicated, with almost total fidelity, significantly, not absolutely total fidelity, generation after generation after generation, such that there are genes which are identical to what they were tens of millions of years ago, hundreds of millions of years ago in a few cases. Um, so genes are immortal, not, not the DNA, of course that's not, that turns over in a very short space of time, but the coded information is potentially immortal. And that means that the difference between a successful gene and an unsuccessful gene really matters. It's going to matter for millions of years. So th the genes that make it through those millions of years are the ones that are good at it. And good at it means good at building bodies, good at controlling the processes of embryology to make bodies which have what it takes to preserve those genes and pass them on. And so I use this phrase survival machine. A body, an individual, is a, is a survival machine. And that's by far the most powerful way of interpreting what an individual organism is. An individual organism is a throwaway survival machine for the self-replicating coded information which it contains. And the fate of that coded information is crucially bound up with the fate of the body in which it sits. If the body in which it sits dies before reproducing, then that coded information is not going to go on the next generation and the next and potentially for tens of millions of years. So the genes that are in the world today, distributed as they are in bodies of millions of different, different species, are here today because they were good at what they did in the past. They've come through an in, a literally unbroken line of successful ancestors, where unsuccessful non-ancestors have been littered by the, by, the, by the wayside. And so the genes in a swallow or in a kangaroo or in a hedgehog or in a human are all very, very good at making swallows or hedgehogs or kangaroos or, or, or humans. They had to be good at it, or they wouldn't have come through the generations um, today. Now that, I think, is an inspiring vision. And that's what fired me up about, about um, uh, the, the very idea of the selfish gene.